This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCBWay you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, a pinpointer metal detector, often simply called a pinpointer, is a small handheld device used to precisely locate metal targets that have already been detected in a general area by larger standard metal detector. After a standard metal detector indicates a target and the user digs a hole or removes a plug of soil, the pinpointer is used to scan that small area. In one of my previous videos I presented a way to make a pinpointer using an Arduino microcontroller board. Uh, this time I will present a very simple way to make such a device without the use of microcontrollers and programs using only standard electronic components. However, the sensitivity of this pinpointer is identical and even exceeds the previously mentioned one if properly adjusted. The difference is that there the device was adjusted only by pressing a button, while in this case we do it manually using uh, two potentiometers. This pinpointer is very easy to make and consists of several electronic components that can be found in any average hardware store. And these are one universal PNP type transistor. I use BC557 in this project, then two diodes, 18, 4148 or similar, LM741 operational amplifier, specifically in this case I use TL081 and any other operational amplifier can be used. Uh, then LED for signaling, two potentiometers of 1 kilo ohms and 10 kilo ohms, several capacitors and resistors, and two coils uh, wound uh, next to each other, each of which has about 200 turns of varnish copper wire with a cross section of 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters. Uh, these coils are wound on a ferret core from an old AM receiver. First, let me briefly explain the working principle. Uh, this part with one transistor is and two coils represents an oscillator with a frequency of about 20 kHz. The amplitude of this sinusoidal signal can be changed in two ways. The first is by changing the value of this set of potentiometers and the other is by bringing a metal object closer to the ferret core on which the two coils are wound. Uh, in the second way by bringing the metal closer the amplitude of the signal decreases. Then comes a rectifier, rectifier with two diodes and one capacitor and so the rectified voltage is brought to the inverting input of the operational amplifier that is pin 2. On the non-inverting input using this voltage divider uh, we bring a voltage close to the to, to that of the inverting input. Next, we do, we do with these two potentiometers, we adjust the voltage on pin 2 to be just li a, a little higher than that on pin 3 and in that moment let go goes out. Now, as the metal object approaches to the coil, uh, the amplitude of the sinus signal decreases and so does the voltage at pin 2. So, when the, the voltage, when this voltage becomes lower than that at pin 3, a voltage appears in the output 6 and the LED lights up which actually indicates the presence of metal near the coils. Let's see how this practically looks on an oscilloscope. The oscilloscope is connected to the output of the oscillator 
to see his properties. Uh, we see the signal from the for, in the output of the oscillator. It is sinusoidal signal with frequency of about 19 kilohertz. Uh, with the potentiometers, we can change its amplitude, coarse, coarse and fine. Now the amplitude is constant, uh, but if we bring a metal object closer to this, to the to the coils, uh, we see that it decreases proportionally. It is uh, it is this property that we use for detection metal objects. Now let's see how this device behaves in real conditions on metal objects with objects with different dimensions, i.e. its sensitivity. Just to mention that this detector is sensitive to temperature changes, so it is necessary to adjust the potentiometers more often to get the highest sensitivity. The advantage of the aforementioned pinpointer with an Arduino microcontroller is that this adjustment is faster and simpler and is achieved with a short press of a button. After turning on the detector, we move the coarse adjustment potentiometer until the, the LED goes out. Then with the fine potentiometer we adjust the threshold more precisely just before the LED lights up. At this point, metal detector is ready.
And finally, a short conclusion. This is an extremely simple pinpointer metal detector that, although made only with standard electronic components, has a quite satisfactory sensitivity, detecting a small coin at a distance of 4 to 5 centimeters and a larger object at a 7 to 8 centimeters and more.